Hey guys, long time no see. It's been about six months, I think, since I last played this game, but I'm ready to get back into it again. And we're going to start by taking on the Elite Four and the Pokemon League. I have no idea who the Elite Four is in this game, if it's the same as the last game, or if it's people who are totally different. But let's find out together, shall we? Hopefully you guys can hear the music okay. I'm trying to keep my mic close to the uh, DS as well. Once you start your challenge, you cannot leave until you win against all or lose. Do you want to go in? Yes, I do. Then proceed. And I assume, like the last game, you can face them in any order you want to. But we'll probably go from left to right, because that's generally the order from easiest to hardest. And last time it was a ghost person here, so I do have... No, so I'm going to show you my Pokemon. Alright, well I did level everybody up to about 65, give or take. Between 63 and 65, so hopefully that's good enough. The guys I was fighting in Victory Road were in their 50s, so that should make it a challenge without making it unbeatable. Well, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I think this is the same person as the last game, so they might all be then. Oh, I have to move. There we go. There is one man who wanders the world with a white dragon Pokemon to search for truth. That's part of a novel I'm writing. I want to write down the event that happened on that day. Sorry, it has nothing to do with you. You're a challenger, right? I'm the Elite Four's ghost-type Pokemon user, Chantal, and I shall be your opponent. Yeah, I remember these guys. I remember grinding them in Pokemon White over and over again back in the day. It's probably about a year ago now. Maybe even more. Okay, only four Pokemon, so same as the last game. I don't know if they'll be the same four or a different four. But I guess we'll find out together. Only level 56. That's actually kind of surprising. Because I think the uh, the guys I was facing in... Like, when you fight your rival on Victory Road, his Pokemon were about 55, I think. Alright, so I know Dragon Pulse, Dark Pulse, Body Slam, and Dark Rage. Or, Dragon Rage, rather. So I'm going to use Dark Pulse, since it's super effective against that guy. He's a full Ghost type. He does have pretty good defenses, though. But I'm not sure anything he does will be too good against me. Yeah, Shadow Ball is not going to be very effective. Psychic won't affect me at all. Energy Ball is not very effective. I'm not really sure what moves he has, but those are ones I think he had last time. First impressions are everything. Alright, so I think one more Dark Pulse, we should be able to take this guy down. She's going to use a full restore, but not going to help her. Just going to delay the inevitable. I'm actually kind of disappointed that these guys are so low in level. Because I did spend... Yeah, a couple hours just training in Victory Road, making sure I fought all the trainers and got these guys up a couple more levels to spare. And back in the day, you like, you had to do that before you challenged Elite Four. There was no way to beat them unless you either were really, really good and really, really lucky, or had a lot of items, or if you actually spent a day or two just running around Victory Road defeating wild Pokemon to get your levels up. Nice amount of XP there. Go Lurk. That's the Ground and Ghost one, right? I think that's what he is. Alright. So I'm guessing your Pokemon are going to be level 56, 56, 56, and 58, because that seems to be what they usually do. Um, it is a ghost type, so I'm going to stick with the same strategy and just try to Dark Pulse it to death. This might actually be an easy sweep, but uh, like I said, I didn't really expect him to be this low of a level, or I might have leveled these guys a little less. Okay, so he does have Brick Break. That's why she brought him out. That'll be super effective against Getsus here, since he's Dark and Dragon type. But won't be enough to one-hit KO me. On the other hand, I should be able to take him out with this second Dark Pulse here. And there we go. Level 64. Very nice. And two Pokemon to go. Hyper Voice. Um, I guess I'll forget an old move. I don't know. Hyper Voice is a normal type move, right? Let's see. It is. I'll, de I'll delete Dragon Rage, though. Actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get rid of Body Slam, just because this uh, this Pokemon has better special attack than attack. So I'm pretty sure Hyper Voice will be better than Body Slam. Let me just check that real quick. Hyper Voice is 90. Yep, okay, let's delete Body Slam then. I do sometimes use Dragon Rage just to finish off people, or to um, like capture wild Pokemon without making them faint. So I'll keep that one for now. Chandler, that's her best one, I'm pretty sure. It's a fire and... yeah, 58. It's a fire and ghost type. Um, 
All right, so this is interesting. Let's, I don't know what it's gonna do. Let's go ahead and use a potion. Maybe I shouldn't use potions. Maybe that'll make it too easy if I use potions. All right, let's just let's just go for it. Cause I did buy a bunch of potions in case I needed them, but if I'm this much of a higher level than they are, it's kind of unfair. All right, Fire Blast is not very effective. Again, I don't think it has any moves that are really good against me. But it's still such a powerful Pokemon that uh, it made poor Getsus faint. All right, so it is a Fire type. Let's bring out my Water type then. And the Caracosta. Um, all right, so I don't think it can one hit KO me, and I know it's faster, so I'm going to actually use a Shell Smash here. I know Waterfall, Rock Slide, Shell Smash, and Strength, I think, are my moves. I forgot about Energy Ball. That's going to one hit KO me. Yep. That's going to be four times super effective. All right, so bad choice there. Um, all right, so that leaves me with four Pokemon. A grass type, which is not going to be good. A fighting type, not really good, but I mean, it, it wouldn't actually be the worst thing in the world to use a fighting type, since uh, none of his moves are super effective against. Well, it might know psychic actually. Um, all right, let's fight fire with fire. My other one's a psychic type, which is weak to a ghost. So, even though I have four Pokemon left, not a lot of them are going to be very good against this guy. Um, okay, so. This guy knows Flamethrower, Psychic, Quiver Dance, and Bug Bite. Uh, Bug Bite's pretty much useless. Flamethrower won't do very much, so Psychic should be good. But let's use a Quiver Dance first to get our power up a little bit more to make sure it's 1 KO. And to get our defenses up as well, because I'm pretty sure all of his moves are special moves. Quiver Dance is a great move. It increases your special attack, special defense, and your speed all in one move. But I think this is the only Pokemon, Volcarona, that knows it. So that's right, his fire moves are even against me because I'm part bug and part fire. But with my buff there, it didn't do too much. And this Psychic should finish him off pretty easily. No, it didn't. All right, he had better special defense than I predicted. But that's okay because uh, I should be able to withstand another fire blast. Yeah, okay. The only way I wouldn't would be if it was a critical hit and... Instead of critting, it actually missed me, so that's pretty awesome. So let's finish this guy off, and I'm guessing we should be able to finish off the next guy pretty easily as well. I will take the time to revive my Pokemon in between battles, because otherwise this will be super challenging. But, uh, Drift Limb, that's right. But I'm going to try not to use items during this. It's not over yet. You will not get your way. Is that what she said? I, I missed it. Alright, um, let's go ahead and use Flamethrower this time, because I get, a uh, same type of attack bonus for that. And it should be evenly effective against Driftblim, who is a ghost and flying type. It does have a lot of health, though. But not enough. Alright, well that's going to be Chantal. Flint got some XP. Do you ever feel at a loss for words when something greatly moves you? To tell the truth, I'm a writer, but right now I'm having trouble putting my feelings into words. You were just that impressive. And got some money there. Oh, that's right. Getsus is evolving. I tried to keep it level 63 just so you could see him evolve into one of my favorite Generation 5 Pokemon. Here he comes. Hydreigon. Or I think Sazendora was the original name. Kind of like that name better, actually. But Hydreigon works too. Um, Alright, so... That will come in very handy in the next couple fights, I'm sure. My Pokemon are the Challenger's Pokemon. Everyone battled even though they were hurt. Thank you. All right, well, that's the end of the first Elite Four battle. Stay tuned for the next three, and I will be right back.